I am continuing on with preparing this valve train assembly so that I can finally use it for creating springs using the mechanism dynamics option. Where I left off at the end of the last video, so far I have a bunch of pin connections and gear connections. If I run this, you can see that we do have our components rotating. In this video, I am going to work on the cam connections so that the pistons will move up and down. And then finally in the next video, I'll be able to put my springs in. All right, this is just about done running. Let me click the close button to get out of mechanism mode. I am not going to save that playback. And I mentioned springs. This assembly already has a number of different springs in there. If you take a look at their names in the model tree though, there are some numbers at the end of the name of the springs. That's because these are extended to different lengths based on the position of the valve in the assembly. And so this isn't real. In the real world, these springs would change length. At some point, I may end up using component flexibility to replace these springs, but I don't need these in here at all, especially like I mentioned, I am going to put in some springs in mechanism mode. So let me just get rid of those. Let me click the OK button and they are out of there. All right, so the next step that I am going to take inside of here, I'm going to see if I can get one of the cams to work correctly. So let's delete all of, actually let's suppress these components for the moment. I'm just going to try to get one of the cams to work and so to do that after suppressing these components let's jump back into actually before i jump into mechanism mode we have to do some work to this particular valve and this is a family table instance so let's right click and open up the generic whatever i do to this i want to also happen to the exhaust valves and i'm going to need to create some additional points inside of here for defining the cam and i'll talk about that more later on let me turn on my datum plane display let's turn on let's see let me go to my layers Let's find one for the default datums. Let's hit the show button, close out of there. And okay, that's way too many. Let me go back to the layers. Let's expand this. I only want to show the layers at the top level. Let's select the other ones and then hide them. Let's hide these two as well. Close out of there, repaint the graphics area. Okay, so I need to create a few different points. And just to cover my best, I'm going to create four points and they'll be at the intersection of this surface and the default datums at the assembly level. So let's click on the point icon. And for the first point, let me select this edge, hold down the control key and select the datum plane. And let's rename this and I'll just call this point one. Let me create another point. It'll be at the intersection of this edge and this datum plane. And once again, rename it to point two. Let's create another one. This one will be the intersection of this plane. I'll hold down the control key and select the edge. And I'll rename this one to three. And the last point that I'll create in here, intersection of the plane and the control key to grab that edge and rename this one to be number four. I'll click the OK button. Since this is a family table generic, let's go to the family table command. I'll hit the verify button. All these are unverified. When I hit verify, some of these are going to end up failing. And that's OK because I'm only using two of the instances, the intake valve instance and the exhaust valve instance. Some of these other instances, oh, actually looks like they all passed. Uh, some of the other instances though, I'm not going to use, so I'm not going to care if they fail or not. Let's click OK out of there. Let's turn off our plane display, turn on our point display, and hop back over to our valve train window to create the mechanism. 
Once again, we'll go into mechanism mode. Actually, to create the cam, I'm going to click on the cam command. And for cam one, I'm going to turn on auto select just so I can grab one surface and I'll automatically grab the tangent surfaces. There is a get select window open in the lower right hand corner. I can just middle mouse button to get out of there. Let's go to cam two. And for cam two, I'm going to pick this surface, which is a flat surface. When I click the OK button, it requires me to define either a front and back reference or a front, back, and depth reference. And this is to control the width of the extruded cam surface. And so it's one thing that's required if you have a flat plane or flat curve that you're using as one of your cams. You need to define the depth of the extrusion of the cam. That's why I created those points. So for one reference, let's select this point over here. For the other reference, let me select the datum point on the other side. I'm going to show you the properties tab. Right now, liftoff is not enabled. There's some more work that I'll do just so that when we have liftoff, the cam the valve is not going to drop off into infinity. Let's click the OK button out of there. And now to test our motion, let me just readjust everything in the graphics area. Let me turn off my datum point display for a moment. Let me go to mechanism display and turn off the display of joints and cams and click the OK button. And now let's try running this. So let's right click on the analysis and hit the green flag. And you can see that the cam is indeed working to push the valve up and down. So it works for that one. Now what I need to do is repeat that process for these other different valves. Let me put a pause inside of here. I will take care of all the intake valves show you how that runs and then I'll do the exhaust valves and show you how that works so I'll be back in a moment okay I am back I repeated the process of creating the cam for seven of the other valves let's take a look at the analysis again I will just click on the name of the analysis and hit the green flag yes I'm going to overwrite the results and Hey, you can see that the valves are moving up and down exactly the way that I want them to. And again, I'm going to have to disable lift off and I'll put the springs in there in the next video so that it'll be working in a real manner as opposed to this one, which is intermediate. All right. Now that I have those taken care of, I am going to resume the eight valves over on the other side. Let me show you that. Let's bring back these and I'll use the shift key and then use the resume icon from the mini toolbar. Let me turn on my datum point display. I'll create one of the cams, show you how that is done. And then I will put another pause in the video. So again, we will go to the cams command. I'll turn on the auto select. Really only saves me one mouse pick or probably ends up being even in the long run. Let's go to cam two. I'm picking a flat surface. I'll hit the middle mouse button for OK. Automatically activates the collector for the front and the back reference. I'll select the datum point here and then the datum point over there. And then middle mouse button to close that one. Now I will be back after I create the other seven in here. All right, I have all 16 cams defined in here. Let me show you how it works after I turn off the display of a bunch of different entities to unclutter the screen. Let me click OK out of there. Let's turn off our datum point display. Once again, I will go to the analysis and use the green flag to run it. Yes, we will overwrite the results. And again, the valves are going up and down. Just looks absolutely beautiful. And so now I am much more closer to where I can actually use springs inside of this model.
So that is good enough for this video for creating the cams. In the next video, I will adjust the cylinders and then we will be ready to use some springs from mechanism mode. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.